Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Stacy with Crafty Dragon Creations. Today I'm going to start um, a very eclectic journal. Um, I made this cover, it's out of a, a book, um, for something I honestly don't remember now. I think it might have been for something like this and then I changed my mind or got busy with other things. Um, but basically I just collaged some random papers in here and Mod Podged it down and I have a, a tie. Um, this was a piece of fabric and um, I airbrushed the numbers on here. I have this stencil and I was playing around with the airbrush so I wanted to try that out. So that's what this is and it just covers up the, the spine to whatever book this was. And um, so this is where I left this. Um, again, I just Mod Podged papers on here. I might end up covering this up, I'm not sure. But this is going to be um, pretty much a, a junk journal. I'm going to have weird things in here and some Franken paper and I don't know, just something to, to have some fun with. Um, I have on my desk, <laughs> see if I can kind of get this in camera, this huge accordion thingy that has a whole bunch of scraps and stuff in it. So this is what I'm going to use to get my um, to make my ephemera and my pages and all that out of. So I have a lot in here that I just, I need to use it up because I'm not using it. And, um, yeah. So I am going to first, um, put some signatures together. I'm going to leave this here so I can kind of have it as a guide to how big my pages can be. So, um, let's see, I have kind of all the big papers in the back, it's a good sturdy page. Um, again, I'm going to make some, some Franken paper, this will be good to use. Uh, let's see, I do have some full-size papers in here that like from leftover kits um, there's this one it's from uh, creative paper artisan it's a page I didn't use in a design team project uh, I have this from my foxy cottage core foxes kit um, so just papers that, you know, I ended up not using for whatever reason. Uh, this is also from Creative Paper Artisan. Uh, I got some, some graph paper, so we'll... I don't know what's up with that, but I'll use that. So this is not themed. This is not... Uh, any certain style. This is just going to be a put together. That's pretty. I'll use that. I don't remember if this is from Creative Paper Arts, and I think it is. Um, I'm on her design team, so I have a lot, <laughs> a lot of her papers. Okay, we'll use a, a jelly, jelly print. Okay, so we got that so far. Get this paper back in there. Okay, so I think this will fit. Yeah, so they can be a little bit bigger than this eight and a half by eleven. So when I make Franken papers, I can make them bigger. 
Okay, so I have some scraps. <laughs> okay, we have some more jelly printing, some different papers. Apparently, I was trying to make some index cards of some kind. So, oh, that's some good. Some good paper in here. Okay. Well, let's see. There's a lot more in here. It's just just crazy. Got some book pages. Oh yeah, I have a whole bunch of strips. So we're definitely gonna make some paper out of that. Okay, let me, um, so we'll use that, not that, we'll use those, maybe those and that, and we need that, oh, can use that for sure, let's see, this is a piece of something, A lot of this is kind of heavier cardstock, but we shall use it nonetheless. Got some vellum, got some coffee dyed uh, graph paper. <laughs> got that, and let's use that. Okay. Might use that too. So let's put some of this back. Oh, oh, wrong one. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna get this off my desk. So I have a little bit more room. I also have like just some. And these are book pages that I use for jelly printing. I have a dictionary page over here. I have these strips of paper that I use jelly printing with. So, lots of fun stuff. Okay, so these pages. Are, oh, <laughs> this is a. This is not from Creative Paper Arts. <laughs> Where did I get this? I don't even know. Okay. Well, we're going to use it. Let me kind of fold some of these up first. And the good thing about, you know, using digitals is I can print more if I want to use that again. has some got something on there and something down there so it's going in the journal okay so we got those oh yeah and I had this jelly print okay oops sorry about that um <clears throat> okay See what we got here. We can use this. And we can use this. It's gonna be way too tall, but rather than cutting it or tearing it and creating more scraps. I'm just going to fold it. So, this will be my 
tallest page. Hmm. Might even be just a little too wide. And we'll create like this little corner tub here. That might be cool. You can glue those down. I made it too skinny. <laughs> That's okay. We'll we'll go with it. Okay, so we have that. Um, let's see. We should put these together. Might be kind of neat. So that right there. So let's glue these together. And I might go back and sew on some of these as well, just to keep them together. Go ahead and I'm gonna, okay, we'll fold it this way, and then I think this will fold in and make a pocket. Too much glue on there, okay? So then that will fit in there. Need to wait for that glue to dry. So I'm gonna set that up there. Okay, so then this one, I am gonna go ahead and cut that off. We can always cover this with something. A pretty piece of paper. Why would I have that in my scraps? I don't know. Okay, so there's that. And then we have this. Let's see. I might just extend this a little bit. Well, I don't know that anything's going to glue this, so I'll probably have to um, sew this. see here. Well, maybe not. Maybe we'll just, we'll leave it as it is. Um, okay, this, I might leave this to make a pocket because it's kind of nice and thick. Uh, let's see, we'll put these two papers together. Make a page and we'll hinge it to something else. So this is always kind of fun, just using up what you got and making something unique and interesting. I'm going to trim that down a little bit. Sorry, I have kind of the, the hiccups. It's like a, a hiccup burp thing. <laughs> I don't know. I I just had dinner, so maybe that's, that's the problem. I'm a bigger trimmer here. this page and then we'll hinge it to another page and that'll make 
Okay, so here we go. We're just going to hinge it to this because this is just a half page. Whoops. Oh, gosh. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, so I need something. Here we go. I have this. Trim that. Let's see. I think I'll put this on this side. That might be interesting. And we can bring this out because we know this will fit in the book. Get under here. There we go. Let's see. Go like this. And this. And this. And let's do this. I don't want to use all my full pages just yet, so. We'll have that the start of one signature. And then we'll go like this. Put this actually let's put this out here. Um here, let's use this page. Then we're going to start a new signature. We have that. Okay. So, so far, we're going to have these. So I need to make some more pages. Okay, what else do I got here? These are all kind of getting, let's see, I, I need some more, I need some more scraps. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I've pulled out some more scraps, so we can make some more pages, got book pages, Just random random stuff. This was a jelly print. Okay, so let's take this and this and we'll make a page. I'm not even going to cut that white border off. <gasps> I know. <laughs> okay, so we want it 
If I can make it tall, I'm going to make it tall. Okay. So we can go about right there. Oh, the back of that has ink on it. Cool. Okay. I don't want to get glue all over everything, so let's push some of that aside. I don't know that I want to use cardstock for pages, but okay, so I'll just kind of put that in the middle. That is kind of a reference. So about right there. And that is crooked, but that's okay. We're not going to worry or care, right? This is just playful put together book okay oh we got oh we got lots of goodies here what did I what was I doing what was I doing with this okay oh so here will be a good one to put together let's see let me just measure this here <laughs> So it is about nine and a quarter. So nine and a quarter. Oh, I hate math so much. Math is not my friend. You know, actually, I'm pretty good at like basic math. Like to just real quick add some stuff up in my head. That I can do. But when you start putting in numbers and letters, or when you start putting in numbers, that's what math is, Stacy. When you start putting in letters, and symbols that's when my mind goes no I don't think so not today we ain't having it why did I keep messing this up so okay actually let's turn this that just doesn't Okay, well, it is what it is. Okay, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I was uh, better at English, although sometimes to listen to me, you wouldn't be able to tell, right? <laughs> yeah, I was. I was more into the English part of school and not the math. Like I said, I did really good in basic math, and then I hit algebra, and I went downhill. I used to copy my friend's homework, <laughs> and then drastically fail the test, <laughs> and barely passed, but, um... The class that I did that in, my teacher was a coach, and he did not care. He just wanted to coach his football, so uh, in the end, he didn't do me any favors, but, you know, 
at the time I thought it was fantastic. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be making more scraps, but we are. side. I'll just fold that in. All of my papers are going to be about this wide. <laughs> but that's okay. We will make some more, some bigger ones later. Okay, so we have this with one little square kicked out of there, so we'll just use that whole thing. That'll be good. Let's see, we got this and another one of these. We also have this. So if we put these together, then we can fold them that way. So let's do that. This kind of reminds me of uh, a person who, well, I guess it would be a man who uh, always has his shirt off in the sun. And then there's his, <laughs> the part that's not in the sun. <laughs> half tan and half white. Okay, so there's that. Uh, let's see. We can do this. I don't even really know if this is like appealing, but I don't know. Sometimes you just want to you just want to do something, and you don't want to follow any rules, and you don't want to have to care what it looks like. So that's what I'm doing. I don't really care. I mean, I care, but it's like there's there's no rules here. No rules. Is that actually two papers? No. Okay. I didn't know that back of that jelly print was a plat book page, so that's that's a bonus. Uh, let's see. Add some more book page. I think this would definitely be like some sort of art journal that you would go in and basically just cover all this up anyway. Oh, I don't want to cover all that up. Maybe that's what I'll use it for. Or maybe it'll sit on my shelf with the rest of my books. <laughs> Never to be heard from again. Beautiful, right? 
I think I made it too long. Okay. That's okay. We'll just fold it. Just fold it. But I need to wait for that to dry. Okay. So we have that. Let's make one more. One more weird page. Okay, so I know this is going to have to be cut down. Okay, so we have the height. I got nine inches. Then we can go bada boom. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, I wasn't supposed to care. You're supposed to tell me. Stacy, don't care. Don't worry about it. That's okay. I cared. I did all the caring. There we go. Again, I'm making more scraps. I'm supposed to be using them. But maybe we will. Maybe we will find a place for some of these. Like we can, you know, collage on the back or something. It'll be okay. Okay. Isn't that from something? I feel like that is from something. I don't know. What's this? Memorandum of delivery. Perfect. You're going to be delivered right there. And this is going to be delivered right here. too long but we will deal with that all right guys um, I'm going to let these papers dry and um, get my signatures together again kind of make sure they're somewhat even and then I will come back and show you what I did okay so I have three signatures um, each one has seven pages I believe so I'll just quickly go through here and we'll see what we got here. And I probably will go um, and sew on some of these just to jazz them up a bit. That one. And then... Um, my next plan is to use some more scraps to make the ephemera go in here. Isn't that quite the <laughs> quite the page? <laughs> but yeah, I, I enjoyed putting this together. I mean, like I said, it, I didn't have to care. I didn't worry about if it went together or not. I just. And some of these aren't really scraps, but they're just papers that I'm just, I haven't used and I want to use them. But most of them are scraps, so. 
but I think this will be pretty interesting. Oh, let's turn this one upside down. There we go. That's going to be a pocket. Yeah, and then we can just decorate this however we want. We can make all kinds of tags and envelopes and tucks and pockets out of all the scraps that I have. Not all, but most. <laughs> all right, guys, I think I'm going to stop that there. And... Um, we will come back with another one and work some more in this. So um, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. And I hope you'll you'll follow along with me and see how this weird journal is going to turn out. Um, I didn't realize you could see this over here, but that's good. I have my, my uh, stencils hanging over here and my heat gun. But anyway, um, yeah, I will... Um, Oh my gosh, I just, oh, I found another page. I forgot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, well, I may have to make two more pages for the other signatures. <laughs> All right, guys, I promise. That's it. Please like, subscribe, and until the next one, bye-bye.